OpenCPN on a Raspberry Pi 4. Due to a lot of questions, and for my own sake, to be able to reproduce uh, the OpenCPN installation on the Raspberry Pi 4, I have made this video. I will go through the setup steps that are described in the web page embedded.no. The page is in Norwegian, but will come in English soon. In the web page, select C charts on Raspberry Pi. Just follow the links. Open CPN chart plotter on Raspberry Pi. Go to the installation of the OS, the Raspberry Pi OS. Follow the links for the installation. For the installation, we are using a SD card of 16 gigabytes. And we are going to download the official Raspberry Pi OS. We actually downloading an installer download it for Windows. Just follow the links. This is, uh, the file is called Imagers. Just double click on the Imager file. S install the Imager file. This is a program to download the Raspberry Pi OS and install it on the SD card. First of all, you have to choose the operating system. You will select Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. 64-bit is important because of it's much faster than the 32 bits. 32 bits will lag on um, OpenCPN. 64-bit will not lag that much. Select the SD card, press Write, and select Yes. Now it's preparing to writing the operating system to the SD card. This is, takes a lot of time, um, maybe five minutes. So uh, I have speeded up the process here on the video. See that now we have 80%, soon we have 99%, and soon we are finished writing, and then it starts verifying. This will also take a couple of minutes. So when the, when the operating system and the writing is uh, finished verifying, then it's finalizing the installation, and your SD card is ready and you can remove it from uh, the computer and install it in the Raspberry Pi. Now you see to the left here that we have the uh, boot FS, which is the boot sectors on the SD card that will boot your operating system on the Raspberry Pi. Now we see that we are removing the SD card Take the SD card and insert into your Raspberry Pi. This is my Raspberry Pi ins inside the box that I made for uh, for my open chart uh, plotter. Yeah, you can set insert uh, the SD card into the Raspberry Pi 4 on the underside. Here you can see my setup. I have a 17-inch uh, touch screen. I have a fan. And I have the Raspberry Pi. I have a USB hub, so I can have all the USB ports uh, on the outside of the box. And I have some powers on um, on some uh, Vago clamps. And I also have a Troco power, which is uh, 800 milliamps, uh, uh, converting from 12 volts to 5 volts. About three amps are uh, sufficient. What's important is to have this fan uh, so that uh, the CPU can cool down. Without uh, the fan, then uh, the, uh, the CPU can be overheated. When you're booting uh, the system, 
you will see for the first time you will see that um, the, uh, there is some installation going on resizing the file system uh, generating some services on the um, Raspberry Pi and after a while it will reboot when the rebooting is uh, finished we will do some configurations first of all you got this uh, welcome message press next then you have to select your country, language and time zone. I am in Norway, so I select selects Norway. I select my language uh, Norwegian language. I select my time zone Oslo. And press next. Then we have to set up uh, a username and a password. I'm using Pi and Raspberry as a password. That is the default for Raspberry Pi. It was the default, it's not anymore. Uh, so just for this video, I'm using this and I have get, got this warning because I'm using the default password. Just click next on this if uh, your screen looks okay. Then you have to set up your Wi-Fi wi network, select your Wi-Fi network, enter your password, this is important so you can have the latest updates and you can install uh, OpenCPM. Now you have to update your software. That is the operating system. Press next. When this update is finished, then the, the system is booting into desktop mode. Open the ter terminal window. Go to the abandoned.no web page on the browser. And here we will be installing the OpenCPM by use of flatback. Paste the string into the terminal window and press enter. Oh, here we can see that we don't have a flatback installed on uh, the Raspberry Pi. So we have to go back to the installation of uh, OpenCPM and then we have to um, go to the installation page for Flatback. Here is uh, how we can install uh, OpenCPM, but the link up here is where Flatback official page is. And then we have to uh, install it uh, for Raspberry Pi. That is the Raspberry here. Then we have to copy these strings into the terminal window. Apt install flatback. Press enter. Okay. Uh, we didn't use sudo. We have to use sudo in front of every. Uh, string we are uh, installing as you do we have to type in front of uh, apt that sudo is super user so we need to remember that then we have in flatback installed and we can go back to this one this string Copy it into the terminal window and press enter. Then press yes. And we are starting to installing OpenCPM. Press yes also here. Yeah, 
you have to press yes several times. Now we can see that we are installing. This will take uh, quite some time. I have speeded up uh, the, the installation so that it will take uh, a lot more time than you see in this video. You see now we are installing um, package 5 out of 5. And that is 52 megabytes. Then we need to type flatback update or OpenCPM, OpenCPM. And then every package for the OpenCPM is installed and updated. Now we can uh, log out, press restart, because now the OpenCPM should be installed. Now we can install the um, GPS. The GPS is a BT708, which can be bought relatively cheap on eBay. Press it into the USB port. If you type DMASK in the terminal, DMSG, then we can find that uh, you see a message here, TTYACM0 is installed. Then we have to open CPM. Press the Raspberry uh, picture and select Games and OpenCPM. Why we have to change uh, it stays below uh, Games, I don't know. Now OpenCPM is installed in our system. We have to go to Connections and connect the um, GPS, select Serial. Select the data port. This is the TTY ACM0, which we found uh, in the terminal window. And just press OK. Then we see that we have the serial connection with Anamia 0183. Then the GPS position is correct. There will be at least two more videos, one where I buy and install charts and one where I will optimize the system uh, for speed because there is uh, some uh, lagging of uh, the graphical user interface, lagging of OpenCPN when we uh, move the charts.